think I have used this light a very long time. I have a very bad track record of uh, VGT100 has been a slight game changer. In the off chance this turns into something, I want to make devlogs around it. It's 12.40 in the morning on November 5th. Um, uh, I'm going to try to keep this minimal. I make plans for things and then I don't actually execute on them. This feels a little more real. I, I, don't, I really don't know why. I'm once again revisiting the question of, I should make a Minecraft, haha, -ha, funny server. Minecraft 2.0, focus on community. I don't know, I'm good at planning shit and then not doing anything about it, but I, I need to sleep soon too. We have parkour world stuff. Uh, this stuff kind of always wanted, has always worked on Minecraft, I think. Parkour, I feel like, have my own kind of solo game vibe. If I can complete these things, if you're watching this video, I've completed these things. Looping and CJ, let's get our second admin on the board. I do want things to be open source. I do want Oink to remain a community built around hobbyists and stuff. I just, I want to give to a community of what a community gave to me. I'm afraid I'm going to go down this whole silly path of planning and then get my own hopes up. And then uh, once again, not going to act upon them. There's a lot of things that I've told myself I'll do and then, and then I haven't done. If I'm going to do something, if I'm going to do nothing, then let this be at least something. Shoveling through my own mental stuff. But um, yeah, how is this already nine minutes? I suck at this. This is the recording for, what the hell's happening? Okay. Bro, that was so easy. You just start the server here and then I can SSH hunt it through the local IP. Fan bloody tastic, except terminals not working. All right, this is fine for now. In theory, I want it to be more user friendly for people who are not terminal people. I'm willing to do this because I kind of want to learn how to use Linux more. SFTP, I need to open a tunnel. I need to get the entire server folder. I'll keep a name for that. I need this over to that with one command. Oh, let's go, baby. Oh, let's go, baby. Oh, let's go, baby. This is gonna take so long, dude. Oh my God. Well, that worked. <laughs> I feel so stupid. And now I kind of just have to be careful because if I close this, I don't know how to, like if I close this shell, I don't know how to get back into this process. I think I can list the processes, but, and I and just have to kill them manually, but I don't want to F with that. So I'm going to stop it here. I didn't record any of this. That's awkward. Anyway, it's working. <laughs> it was really exciting. The public IP does not work yet. So I'll figure that out. I'll have stuff set up for like a cron job and everything. This was super fun. I am really glad I got to like do this because worst case, I'm not able to come, you know, carry through the actual Oink revival. And once the PayPal runs out, I can keep Oink running forever on this. I just have to figure out backups and security. The The hard part, I guess, comes now um, where I have to find out if I'm going to have confidence in myself to finish the parkour stuff. I made something called a Ulysses contract. Uh, TLDR, it's based on the Odyssey. You give yourself some sort of ultimatum. It's just a fancy name for that kind of thing. I think I, I think I believe the one I made for myself. Right now, I'm a part-time master student alongside my full-time job as a code monkey. I'm not enjoying the process. I don't like going back to school. I'm lucky that I can say I don't need to do this. But I want to make sure I'm still doing something with my time. And so my ultimatum that I made for myself is I have to complete Project Flying Pig, which is the parkour game mode for the server. If it's not done by December 7th, that date was chosen for external reasons, I have to register for classes next quarter. It's kind of a win-win, but one is high quality of life, one is low quality of life, so to speak. I also wanted to call out the comments uh, I received on this VGT100 I posted a while ago. I just read this one and it hit me hard. Someone, you know, people actually connected with what I was saying in a 30 minute video. I don't know, I think I'm choosing to believe that this is the right step forward. So anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed me getting this bad boy this server up and running. This is the plan. So when you're a player, I'm going to try and do this as a state-based system. But enough planning, I can get coding. And so thank you to this comment for inspiring me on this bleak day. <laughs> Look at this shit. I think it's actually kind of nice that this text component setup that Paper MC does as opposed to creating a, you know, a string and constantly modifying it. I think this is cleaner. I have a linter for Java that's messing with my formatting. It's kind of annoying. But anyway, finally, you know, got some stuff started. I'm trying to follow some practices. Um, so core protect I'm looking at, got the docs open obviously. Uh, and then I'm gonna look into this because I 
in general, I'd like to use NoSQL. Help command is done. We have a click listener that's set up. I kind of messed around with making a, a custom items library. There's only gonna be one custom item for the this setup, but this might come in useful. I'm just experimenting by doing a lot. Um, I think next up, I need to get the state management <laughs> working. I put everything in, in ClickUp. Uh, I guess when they click it, we can hold on to that person's name and the two points that they're setting, and they can we can call the verify there, and then they can call the finalize function. I know I'm derailing. The point is, we're gonna have a map that's gonna be player to two points, and then two points will be an array where the first item is location one, second one is location two, and I guess in theory we can just say like on the verify if they exist in the map yeah i'm gonna do that uh this is bad practice oh okay no this is terrible practice never mind we cool and then uh yeah so now we can have their locations here we don't have to worry about states cool you just saw me live program i don't know how much of that i'm leaving in yeah that's where i'm at uh feels good to have gotten started this is kind of cool all right that's that all right all right all right we got this, I believe. All right. Platform map create. You just have to believe and then it'll just work. My favorite part is that it still didn't. <laughs> Wait, did this, did I not? I've changed my methods from <clears throat> going through and selecting every single possible, like, point or whatever. Now I just select a really big region and then I just iterate over every block in the region. All right. Okay. So point one is set and point two is set. What am I supposed to do after that? Blank parkour. Is that a typo? My points are not in different worlds. Oh, I didn't break. Oopsie. Forgot the exclamation point. Start end in checkpoint blocks found verifying checkpoint block sequence internal error occurred. Point two. Point one. Going to parkour map verify. Int Less than five checkpoints were found. Cool, that was intentional. Okay, this is what I expected to happen. Ah, yes. Method cannot be called on prepared statement. Holy sh! Wait, what? We got to the end somehow. The real question is if it actually like saved properly and we can load it. I thought it was gonna take so long to like do all the database garbage. Cool. <clears throat> okay, I feel like I like the default of wool, but if someone wants to use wool in a map, then what to do, right? The command execution is fairly simple. We hit create, we start their creation, and if that returns a successful, we give them proper items and tell them that they're good to go, right? Verify is literally just the verify function, and then finalize some arg checks, because we need to, and then we do stuff with those arguments, eventually passing it to the finalized thing. If I were to type verify or finalize without create it would return an error because i'm not set in that two points data structure that i made right click that point one set point two set and i can set this as much as i want um link parkour map verify we have a start location dude i oh my god the sign thing that works first try is actually shocking 38383 and the fact that the endpoint is so close but down it makes sense we have each checkpoint that looks fine the the y level is changing is what i'm looking for to confirm that we found a checkpoint block that has no sign or misconfigured. Make sure signs are wall signs. There's an error with creating. Okay, there's a lot of messages that just happened. So that's good that that, you know, more or less works. Verify. Okay, now it's 80. Okay, yeah, so I can set the min while up. So oink parkour map finalize geo parkour. Uh, we'll say 75 and then geo dude. But it's sazens and. And then uh, oink parkour map exists. Geo parkour. Whoops. Yeah. I usually in the past I've gotten so caught up with text formatting, but it's better if I just try to do that at the end. 
what I should do is create a helper function for all these component generations, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this into a plate or something and just ask map makers and you know modify existing maps like that one. World overhaul scheduled 2020 Q2. <laughs> okay, you can read through that if you want, but I, I'll need to build up some stuff for that. Warning, you've not updated in a while. All right, um, da 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 da. So we're back. I was I was gone for about ten days, <clears throat> but I did get some stuff done, and I want to quickly update it. It's not too much. <clears throat> we pulled all this, so this is effectively what I did when I was gone. Now the idea, I kind of had two options here. I was talking with a friend of mine about them, but what I've decided is right click. When you click on the map, it's gonna open up another, whoops, inventory. That's gonna have all the checkpoints. One thing I did do while I was on the plane, <laughs> so I don't know if this is gonna work, is this player play state thing <clears throat> of player states that it's very logical. We go ahead and we make player player data. And then on the maps client, we have a string that's gonna be the player name and then their data. So when they join a map, we're gonna put them into plays. Anyway, um, that's almost 10 minutes of planning and not doing stuff, but yeah, let's go ahead and finish up. All right, 48 minutes later, I, I, th I think I did it. I'm really not sure. I'm kind of like, it, is this gonna work? This feels so janky. <laughs> Why did this happen? I didn't touch this. I believe the database format has changed. Just yoink the database. Sweeping in the database. Oh, this is loud. Hell yeah. Cool, that still works. Love to see it. <laughs> uh, I should not be surprised. Checkpoint size is two, and the other thing is, okay, so this is zero, why? What does math.ceiling do? Given some double, oh, it's because I'm converting to an int, so it's probably axing it. I can't seem to, f whenever the number is, yeah, I wanna, yeah, this is exactly what I'm doing right now. This is exactly what I'm doing. A is an int, which would make A perform an integer, oh, uh, arithmetic. If this is an int, two, seven's also an int, two divided by seven is, uh, whatever, point something, zero point something, right? An integer will chop off everything after the decimal, at least in Java. Hey, that's a lot of checkpoint ones though. I'm being an idiot. One of the greatest moments, not moments, but notions of growth, I feel like that I kind of recognize over time is the speed with which you can resolve problems and issues. I don't know if that sounds like a flex, but the point is I've been doing this for so long, right? Especially Minecraft plugin. This is the first coding stuff that I did. <clears throat> so I don't know if this is worth mentioning, but I, I'm feeling very confident with this. So we're gonna go ahead and um, I call this done, complete. Getting all the TKs and everything cleaned up is gonna be its own type of, I don't wanna say hell, but test. Look at that. Um, cool. I don't, I'm not gonna, <laughs> the fact they don't have names right now is killing me on the inside, but checkpoint. Oh, wait, I forgot. Oh my God. I forgot I did that. <laughs> Let's go, baby. I completely forgot. I actually wrote that functionality. Now this is epic. So you can go and you can teleport to any checkpoint you want. I'll call this phase one. Yeah, no, that's it. That's it for tonight. I got a later start than I wanted to this morning. Um, also found out how to disable a compass click, but <laughs> I'm doing particles on the checkpoints, right? Do you ever just have moments? Just moments. It's 9 a.m. I woke up at like 7.30ish. I watched two episodes of Mushoku Tensei. I started reading a book and then I, all of a sudden it occurred to me, I don't need to have every pressure plate start and end point associate with a map. It's completely extraneous information. If the player hits a checkpoint, they can only possibly be at, on one map at a time. You physically cannot be in two places at once, even in Minecraft, if, unless you have two avatars, but that's aside the point. They hit a plate, if it's at the start location, start the timer. If it's at the end location, end the timer. If it's on a checkpoint, get that checkpoint, like get that location and get the checkpoint at that location, which means I'm an absolute moron and that's all I need to do. I feel like 
I was just gifted with this information this morning, and I had to get out and record my idea. I need to get ready, but I'll do it after I'm back. I have to do this so I can reset my state. <laughs> That's how I jump scared myself. <laughs> Woo! Um, congratulations, checkpoint one reached. I think the item. Yeah, this is weird. Why? Why? Weighted? Oh, do weighted give out constant signals? Okay, that makes sense. I might change that to a stone pressure plate then. Boom. 4.6 seconds, baby. Alright, this was my epiphany this morning. Cool. I want the play testing to start tomorrow afternoon-ish, and then... I want to make sure players can play a few maps. Like it's a, it's the play test right now has to be fully sequential. It's not that you have to have all the features present, but players can start playing and end playing. And this is just under two hours. So I think I what, estimated four or five hours, so about two more hours for the database stuff should be fine. I just want them to be able to play, even if it's not all the features. I feel like I look so weird in this beanie, but I believe phase one is done. So I'm gonna do what, I, what I've been doing is I've written code and then I'm gonna test it and we're gonna see me fail live. Alrighty. Oh, that made the okay. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, whatever. Eh. 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 Doesn't matter. Allow and default. Deny or deny. Huh? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so silly sometimes. It's just interesting. It was running this one first, I guess. Okay. There we go. Oh, it's not working. Uncool. There we go. I'm just a buffoon. Yeah, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna go, I need, I wanna go do something else, but playtesting will be up tonight. All right, gamers. so cool seeing people on like huge shout out to dragons and galaxy uh much appreciated i'm taking this off i feel like i look like a goof i feel like oink is a little bit alive today i'm not gonna lie to you that's hilarious okay so play testing baby play testing i'm an absolute buffoon okay Nice. Ten. Oh, wait a second. Oh, God, I gotta be so mindful of that. This is where you wanna end. Now verify. We have ten checkpoints. The start end is at 84, so we want it at 79. Oink, parkour, map, finalize. Classic Geo Parkour 79 Geo Dude 43. I think it's 4302. Classic Geo Dude's Parkour. Love it. And all the checkpoints are there. Oh, let's go, dude. Okay. Wanted to add these two things real quick. Holy crap. It's <laughs> a lot of resistance, bro. That's the workaround for that. I should have hella resistance and stuff. Um, cool. That's fine. All right, and then I'll leave. 
And look at that, checkpoint one is enabled and everything. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god, my own game mode works. That's amazing. And the uh, page. It's so fast. The code feels super tedious, admittedly. Well, that's odd. I did not expect that to happen. I don't know what causes that, but... Boom, boom. I honestly, the more I think about it, the, the whole Y level thing, the best case scenario is each checkpoint, like if I've hit checkpoint, whatever this is, this is the min Y level. Like each checkpoint will have its own min Y level. And again, you can put that on the sign. Like having to do that with commands is just gonna be a pain in the ass. It could be fun to have like a last checkpoint reached. The end is nigh. Gonna get some work done tonight. I need to stay focused. That's my challenge for tonight. It was a bit of an unfocused day at work, I'm not gonna lie. That is so weird. They get such a niche edge case, which is just the epitome of playtesting, right? Um, I didn't think it was gonna work. You know what? You know what? What's beautiful? Oh, I know exactly what's causing that. The event triggers, we get the player. Fixed. I was like, hold on. I'm probably not using the get from location. Uh, we're vibing. IP is shown. Whoopsie. More maps are added. We got Oasis. I spent two hours, technically three, but I was distracted for some of them. Working on a bunch of stuff. I took a bunch of the low hanging fruit and just yoinked it. I'm gonna, I need to do the refactoring first. That's the, that's the thing I need to do. Um, one other thing I did was that I kind of had, dare I say, fun with well not fun but i think it was an important thing to learn <laughs> the gradle workflow is set up so if we go to the pull requests this is release point two i finally used branching i set up a github action to just literally build the plugin jar i'm not going to link it to like releases or anything but which is building the gradle app it doesn't take very long <laughs> but it's just some check eventually i'll probably add linting but yo what up new camera angle new me this is the oink server Got a work session. Look at all of these check marks. You love to see it. Leaderboards will be the last big chunk here, but I'm right now I want to do this. I think this is player experience, and right now, like these last two things are player experience. But anyway, locations do have vectors. Place it that way. So I'm gonna get the back of the signs location. If what I'm probably gonna have to do is take the sign and the block and see what the direction of the sign of the block is, because that has a magnitude. Wait, did I overthink this? This is happening a lot. Where's Yah? Oh my god, it's just... Yah is just multiples of 90? Is that what I'm understanding here? Go away? Go away? Uh, oh wait, hold on, actually, I need you. <laughs> okay, that's irrelevant now. Well, hello! <laughs> Oopsie! Let me take a screenshot of this bad boy right here. Shoot. I knew... I feel like I knew that! I should've known that! I was overthinking it. Location dot to string. We're gonna have to change this. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Checkpoints are loaded in there. That's fine. If someone deletes a map and someone's already playing, it's not gonna work. Oh God. If it happens, I'll handle it. All right. <laughs> there we go. Zero 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 ninety ninety. The checkpoint one is at seven negative four through five. Oh, it's how is it a block off? Why is this a whole block off? Well, clearly, <laughs> the code is not working. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, you know what it is? It's my comparison function. Yup, this is a kerfuffle. I hate having to do that. What's nice is that this is not an issue with this whole the whole saving thing. What I'm taking away as a win here. Oh shucks, it's the check. Ah! Oh, but, oh, I have to compare every location. I hate that. It's the why I'm using a map. To be fair, there's always going to be a very finite amount of checkpoints. I just, I hate it. No, <laughs> not even facing in the right direction. No, are you kidding? Did I do it wrong, bro? Uh, 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 uh. 
There is no 270, so it's setting me to zero. Okay, so instead of 270, negative 90, and 180, I guess is what I want here. Because zero and 360 are the same thing. I should have, I, I just wasn't thinking. It's literally says zero or 360, so. And I just, I, we'll see if it holds on negative 90. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the devlog. Um, you can join the Minecraft server with the IP on screen now, kelcrix.redstoneoinkcraft.com. Uh, feel free to join the Discord, would love to have you, whether it be for playtesting or just jumping in on conversations around art, entertainment, uh, different programming stuff, everything under the sun that goes hobbyist and whatnot. <clears throat> um, it's my first video back in a while, so I appreciate you sticking through and, and giving it a watch. I am looking forward to making more of these devlog kind of style videos, and I want to find my style over time uh, and getting better at, you know, doing not so much planning as I used to do in the past. Anyway, that's all for now. Uh, we'll see if I have more videos on the horizon. I try not to burn myself out for 10 months this time, but yeah. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.